let's face it, as guys, lots of times we're not viewed as the primary arbiter of the housekeeping strategies. But the truth is, most of us have spent most of our lives living in some type of household, and we might pick up a few things along the way that we could perhaps present from a different sort of perspective. So in this video, I got a few tips that are gonna be helpful for anyone. I promise you, there's something in this video that you're probably not doing that you should be doing or something that you've forgotten that you should be doing. So without any more hesitation, this is Fitness and Beer. I'm Larry Powell. Welcome back to the lab and let's go. Squeegee your shower. I made a whole video about this. Listen, when it comes to keeping your bathroom clean, moisture is not your friend. Mold, mildew, fungus, all of these things thrive in moist environments. So one of the best things that you can do is get the moisture out as quickly as possible after your shower is finished. It'll also help prevent glass stain. And here's the real kicker. It'll take less time to squeegee down your shower after each shower than it'll take to just perform one weekly shower cleaning. If you squeegee each day, it'll reduce that shower cleaning to basically a quick wipe down and you're good to go. Give it a try for a week. Be consistent with it. You don't even have to do a great job. Just make sure that you get the bulk of the water off the glass and make sure that you also get the water off of any tile walls and see how that works out for you. And then come back and let me know in the comments below. Before we exit the bathroom, we got to talk about the next tip. And it's one of the best things that you can do for the overall health and cleanliness of your bathroom. And it's also one of the quickest and easiest things that you can do. I mean, it's so quick and easy. Let me show you real quick. Use your exhaust fan. That exhaust fan attaches to an exterior outlet vent. And it serves the purpose of helping get all the extra moist air and unpure air out of the room. So it'll help reduce odors. And as I mentioned earlier, things such as mold and mildew, they thrive in moisture environments. So this is one of the best things that you can also do for the longevity of your bathroom to keep it fresher smelling and feeling. And you're gonna get the most benefits out of it when using it at the appropriate time. So anytime that you cut on your shower or your bath, you're gonna to wanna to cut on your exhaust fan. And then you're gonna to wanna to let it run for a while afterwards until it has a chance to clear much of the moisture air in the room. So 15 to 20 minutes afterwards, and you will see the benefits, especially over the long term. Let's move on. Oh. What's going on? Oh. I know. What's that happening there? That's a not so smart version of the previous me. And I'd be lying to you if I said that I haven't done this a hundred times, but it's really never a good idea to stand on a chair. For as safe as you may think it is, a chair is just not engineered to handle your top heavy load. And if you notice, a step ladder or stool is going to have a much wider base that's better equipped for handling your weight at a higher level. So I know you say you're going to do it and you're going to be careful, but really there's nothing more careful than using the right tools for the job. And as for that guy, I really hope this doesn't end badly. <laughs> okay. And now I'm sitting on one of my favorite pieces of furniture. And oh yeah, it's pretty beat up, but it also represents my next tip. And that is decoration and storage. Sometimes when you're looking for your next piece of furniture or your next piece of decor, something to also consider is functionality. And to get something with dual functionality, especially when that second function is storage, can prove super useful and convenient down the road. There's nothing better than having places to stick stuff, especially when it's something that you need often, but you wanna keep out of sight. 
it's great to have it accessible. Yeah, pretty ugly piece of furniture that I shouldn't have in the video, but at the same time, I'm kind of nostalgic for it because uh, it served us well. All right, let's move on. This guy again. But this time it looks like he's on to something because he understands that no room is really clean until the ceiling fan is also clean. It's one of the easiest things to forget. And if you wait until you can see that the fan is dirty, you've waited too long and you're gonna have a bit of a mess on your hands. So this is something definitely easier to do when it's done regularly. So the next time that you're cleaning up a room, don't forget to clean the ceiling fan. And Wow, he's doing a pretty good job. This guy, yeah, he's all right with me. <laughs> okay, I got a question for you. When it comes to home decor, what is wrong with this corner? And here's my answer, absolutely nothing. And here's also my next tip. And that is resist the urge to put something in every single corner and resist the urge to place something upon every single wall. Because here's a simple truth of life. You'll never run out of potential things to put in a space, but eventually you will run out of spaces. And so instead of forcing something into a space just for the sake of having something there, I think we should use the opposite approach. And that's when we find something that just resonates with us and we decide that we wanna bring it home. And guess what? There's nothing better than when I have the perfect space for that. I'm not saying have a home full of naked walls. That's not what I'm suggesting either. I'm just saying resist the urge to just fill spaces with potential clutter. It's that simple. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I see this so often. People line up their meat and prepare to season it on a piece of foil and just lay the piece of foil out flat like this. But here's for my next tip. It's a lot easier if you do this with something I call a half gift wrap. So basically, you're just gonna turn up the corners and the edges. So you're gonna take half and you're gonna fold it up here. And then you're gonna fold the corner like almost like you would do if you were gift wrapping a package. Fold off the corners. And this just takes a second to do. And the fourth corner is always a little more difficult, but it still works. Now you have a surface that is actually going to catch the seasoning as you sprinkle it onto the meat without getting it all over the counter. So I know this takes up a little bit of surface area, but you can always apply a little foil and it's gonna save you a little bit of time. So now if I decide I wanna take these burgers out to the grill, I just grab my cutting board and I'm ready to go. And all of the seasoning stays right where it needs to be. And well, all right, let's move on. Now, has this ever happened to you? Since carry coffee makers are pretty much everywhere, you ever open the carry and can't really remember whether or not the K-cup is a fresh K-cup? I know, but it does happen occasionally. And if this ever happens, there's a really simple solution. And that's just fill the K-cup. And obviously if it's warm, it's been used. But even if it's not warm, just give it a moment and give it a little shake. And if it doesn't rattle or if it feels sticky, obviously it's been used. Now, if you shake it and you're still not sure, just grab a K-cup that you're sure hasn't been used and shake it and compare. And you'll know pretty quickly if that K-cup has been used or not. Okay, let's move on. Hey, let, let me grab this. Ah. Ah. There we go, make sure I got it in the frame there. The next tip is, I think it's a great idea to consider getting a house plant. It's a way to bring a little bit of nature indoors and they've also been shown to reduce stress. So in a way you could kind of say, 
plants bring a little bit of joy to the world. And maybe most importantly, I think that they just look cool and add some brightness to the room. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you've made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. And if you could just hit that like button, just boop, it's not so hard. Thanks for watching. Until next time, fitness and beer. What, what, what you looking at? <laughs>